This is Cadence's humor. See how these friends go. I had air balloons for our anniversary. Welcome to this week's weekly vlog week number two of my four week little glow up challenge as you saw this morning i worked out this morning was a bit of a kerfuffle cadence has to go get his car service so i had to drive my car behind him and then he dropped me off to the station he just called me and told me that they're not even open today so who knows why they booked him in but they closed today and tomorrow so he has to book it in for next week i've got my doll that i made last night it's very delicious got my water and I'm going to start creating my thumbnail for week one out of four glow up challenge. So I'm going to get going with this and I will see you guys when I am back home. So I've been home for a while. I ended up having to go for a little walk around the block to just get more steps in. I still have about 340 to do. Should be fine. We're making dinner right now. We're making a boschiola with some protein pasta. So we've just made the boschiola sauce out of cauliflower, potatoes, cashews, onion. A bunch of seasonings, nutritional yeast and stuff. It's my go-to recipe. I love, I've always loved Buscola. Making it a bit healthier. We normally put some vegan bacon in it, but we've just, um, Cadence cut up some tofu and I just marinated it with some paprika, liquid smoke, onion powder, Worcestershire sauce, and onion powder. Did I say that? Anyway, we just got that marinating for a little bit. Onions and mushrooms we're going to put in the pan. And we're just boiling the pot for the protein pasta. And then we're also going to add some spinach into it and some minced garlic. Today, so we didn't get a half an hour workout in this morning, but we will do it when I get back home from work. You can tell I'm actually like, how long did I sleep for? Okay, so I slept for about nine hours. I don't know, I must have needed it. Women do tend to need more sleep as well. today considering we didn't work out in the morning i had a hot bottle on the train and then this is my third bottle now so it's actually quite hot in this room so i just took off my jumper I still have quite a bit of editing to do for last week's weekly vlog but i'm gonna edit during my break to try and get this uploaded at least by tomorrow we are back home this time to work out let's do it i need to get my water water secured Okay, this is seven times. 
two, four, four, that's four, that's five, five, feel those bleeds, six, ramp it up and we got more time. You know? I think that was okay, the hardest one I've done. Had a shower, feel refreshed. I also brushed and plaited my hair, and we're having some leftover protein pasta. I put some chili oil on top. Delicious. I have about 684 steps to do. Wednesday it is lunchtime and I've got my beautiful protein buschiola pasta and my battery's flashing mm, 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 mm. it is Wednesday and I do want to post last week's vlog week one let's go um, I've pretty much done most of the editing just little bits I need to add and then export it and then compress it and then upload it and I want to do that by tonight I'm gonna get working I will speak to you guys when I get home tonight no idea what we're gonna have for dinner I do want to make some chickpea tuna maybe I'll do that maybe we could have that on some wraps I'm gonna get going and I'll speak to you guys a little bit later I am back home now I uploaded week one yes just had a shower and did some dishes and I'm about to make some chickpea tuna so I'll show you what I put in that. Okay, let's just get home. All right, so let's make some chickpea tuna. I haven't made this in a long time and it is delicious. So for this chickpea tuna, I've just drained two cans of chickpeas. I put one and a half of the chickpeas in here and the other half just in the bowl. So we're gonna blend these ones up and then we're just gonna have some whole ones in there and like smash them a little bit, have a little bit of different textures. This is the best two-in-one chop up from Kmart. I think it's five five to seven dollars something like that so cheap and honestly makes chopping things up so much quicker when you like don't need them a specific size you just want them diced see how quick that was you know how long that would have taken me to mash all right we're gonna pop that all into the bowl now i'm not gonna wash this because we're gonna add half um of red onion in there and we're just gonna finely dice that Add all that into the bowl. Decided I wanna add some pickles in there too because normally you can add capers in there. Uh, I don't think we have any. We actually do have some capers. We've just got it's probably about like a teaspoon or something. We're just gonna add that in the little blender. And then we're just gonna roughly chop the baby cucumbers and add them in the two-in-one chopper as well. You also can add celery in this. We don't have any and I'm not a massive fan of celery. Boom. I'm sorry you cannot see my head. I haven't got a very wide lens. Now we are going to get, you need to ensure your blender is dry. We are going to be adding, I probably could have done this in the tool one chopper. Grab a nori sheet, fold her up, put her in. Okay, one and a half nori sheets going in. We're also gonna make the sauce in the same blender. So ensure you do the nori first. If you already have flaky nori, you don't need to do this. We're just going to add that in now. I've also never added corn to it before, but I'm going to add like a kind of tuna and corn vibe. I'm going to add half of the can in because we don't want to, like we don't want the corn to overpower the tuna. Now time for the sauce. So just before I started this, I just started soaking in some hot water, some cashews. I always make this like cashew hemp cream sauce. It's really simple. I'll show you the ingredients that I put in there. I eyeball everything, so just go as you please. But um, about quarter, half a cup of cashews. Just soaked in some hot water for 10 minutes. If you have a high speed blender, you don't even need to soak them, but I just soak it to make that a little bit softer. But if you don't, I would suggest soaking them for a lot longer. 
we'll drain these out okay don't bother washing the blender either it's fine you can put it in there with the seaweed I've drained and rinsed the cashews we're gonna about add about half a tablespoon of hemp seeds one heat tablespoon of nutritional yeast some salt some white pepper garlic powder onion powder a little bit of olive oil add in some white vinegar some lemon juice about half a teaspoon of minced garlic probably about like 100 mils of water we're gonna see if we need more probably give it a bit of a shakey shake the sauce is all done about 100 mils of water I could have done it a bit too liquidy, but this sauce thickens up in the fridge. I forgot to add Worcestershire sauce, so let's add just a little drizzle. Add the sauce. Add half now, mix her up. Chickpea tuna. Cadence is gonna try it. Guys, look at it. There were some chickpeas that I didn't smush, but. Honest. Just don't say anything and just eat it. I think once it'd be colder, it'd be, it tastes a bit different too. Because the chickpeas are obviously coming out of a can. I put corn in it. Do you like it? Um. I'll taste again. <laughs> this is Cadence's humour. Isn't it so funny? You like it? I do. It's nice. It'll be better once it's cold. Yeah. Pop it in a container. Boyfriend approved. Boyfriend's still eating. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yummy. I've just made dinner. It is quite late. It's 8.44. A yogurt bowl with fruit and some muesli. Cadence isn't hungry, but we snacked on a bit of the chickpea tuna and some crackers. I thought I better eat something. Because I will wake up starving tomorrow if I don't. So, got a little yogurt and fruit bowl. It's so dark in here. Let's have our bite. We've got some kiwi fruit, grapes, blackberries, strawberries, muesli, and yogurt. So good. just finished my half an hour workout total calories burnt was 256 and average heart rate was 148 time to hop in the shower and get ready for work today is going really slow for some reason but i've just heated up my lunch it's 12 20 and this is the last bit of our protein part of that oh my god it was so good so excited to eat I didn't bring my laptop to work today to make my bag a little lighter but also to kind of relax during lunch today because every day I'm doing something on my break so I'm not really getting a break. I'm smashing the water down today too. I'm just going to watch some YouTube, catch up on some videos I need to watch and see how my videos are going. 68 views. Hey. I worked really hard on the thumbnail so I'm hoping it will get up there. Right, I'm going to enjoy my break and I will chat to you guys when I am back at home. So I'm back home now and I'm on my iPhone because I have no idea where my camera is. It should be at work, but it's not in my backpack. So it has to be at work. I've had a shower, washed my hair. I also bought these products a couple weeks ago and I've heard really good things about these products. And I've had a little bit of struggles with my, I would say, curl slash, it's like more wavy. Anyway, I put these products in, the mousse and the gel. We'll see how these products go. Wavy slash kind of curly hair. But I've been struggling with it a bit, so it's because I don't do a curly routine. I just always put it in a clip or put it up in a bun. I'm very lazy with my hair. I need to get better. But we're gonna make some dinner. We don't know what we're doing. I'll show you what we eat 
and I'll see you tomorrow because I don't have room on this and let's hope my camera is at work and I won't get to film my workout tomorrow morning. Oh no. All right, we are having some tuna wraps for dinner. We got avo, tomato, onion, cucumber, lettuce, some jalapeno relish and some hot chili. Here's our tuna I made last night and we popped some potatoes in the air fryer. Guys, my hair's looking not too bad, but we are about to book a hot air balloon for our anniversary. I'm so excited. All right, sunrise midweek hot air balloon in the Hunter Valley. Let's hope the weather pulls through and we're about to place our order. Processing. It's booked. It's booked. Thank you. We're going on a air balloon. I've been wanting to go to the Hunter Valley for our anniversary forever. No, you just need a book accommodation. Hello everyone. Oh my god. I cannot believe I left my camera at work. Thank gosh it was here. It's good to have you back. Missed you. Anyways, so for lunch today, I didn't pack anything last night, so I got it organized this morning and it's a last minute put together lunch. So I bought four rice cakes. We got the rest of our chickpea tuna, which was delicious in our wraps last night. Half an avocado, some hot chili sauce in my little container, and we have a cucumber. And then I'm gonna top it as well with some cracked pepper and I've got some Celtic sea salt in here. I'm actually very excited. I haven't had rice cakes with avo and stuff in ages, so I think it's all gonna work so nicely together. Look at my laptop here. I'm just gonna clear out last week's footage and then We've got a nice clean slate. I'm gonna get my lunch organized. I'll show you what it looks like. Also, my curly hair. Let's have a look at that. My little curly wavy hair. So I've just got it in like a top knot because it's weird to like have out with my headphones on. The only thing I struggle with, actually it looks not too bad right now, but the thing I struggle with is like, it'll look good for a day and then it just drops because it's quite heavy my hair and I have a lot of it and I don't have a curly cut or anything like that because I like to wear it in versatile ways but I really should start wearing it out more because curls are beautiful but sometimes I just feel that I don't know how to style it and I always get annoyed because I'm so used to putting my hair up I think curly hair is so stunning and I think my hair's more like a wavy curl I've seen this girl on TikTok where she's or TikTok or YouTube saying like the specific clothes you wear for when you have curly hair I don't think like a hooded jumper is for that time but it's freezing in Sydney so also last night you would have seen Cadence and I booked a hot air balloon because they're gonna go to Hunter Valley for our anniversary I have been wanting to go to the Hunter Valley for the longest time and we had some vouchers we needed to use up so I was like we gotta go. We literally had nothing planned we were like yeah we'll just go with the flow and stuff but it's a big one it's our 10 years so we haven't booked our accommodation yet but I'm very excited and just let's hope the weather pulls through because the hot air balloon could get cancelled if it doesn't and it is winter time. Why Cadence asked me out in winter? I don't know. Anyway, I love our anniversary date. Okay, this is what we're looking like so far. We So we've put the avo on the bottom, some cracked pepper and Celtic sea salt, four slices of avocado, chili sauce on the bottom. And now we're just gonna top it up with the chickpea tuna. Just start off with a small amount to make sure we get enough on each plate. I think we're gonna have more than enough. Should I put some more chili on top to make it look pretty? This is gonna be spicy. There is our lunch. Yum. Let's give this a taste. I hope the cracker doesn't break. Mmm. But oh, that slaps. I will see you guys a bit later. Feels like the first time. doesn't even know what we're having so I bought some turkey spread we've got some impossible mince with some melted cheese long is that? yep then we got some pineapple pickles tomato red onion lettuce beetroot mustard pickle relish and barbecue style loving the Happy 30th 
Saturday. I am in a bit of a rush this morning. Okay, I'm just rushing to work. I'm going to do my 30 minute workout, which includes jump rope. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and then I need to have a shower, do the bed, get ready, and go watch my cousin's daughter on in her stomach. But I'm going to just have a nice day, go to an outlet, either DFO or Birkenhead Point, and eat some lunch with my cousins. And um, that's why I did a bunch of stuff yesterday, all the cleaning and uh, watering the plants. And we did some washing as well. I did the socks and the active wear stuff. So I'm going to get into the workout and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later today. is done total calories 238 i need to rush i need to get out of here in like 25 minutes i still need to do the bed have a shower pack some food pack my bag and yeah so it's gonna be a bit of a rush but i will see you guys soon hey guys i have not filmed much today i got to see my cousin's daughter get her award they won and then i went to dfo and got a few things and i'll show you what i got i only got one thing there I really want to get some more cute pajamas. I think they're alpacas on them. It's got some white ones and some brown ones. Camels. That's from the camel. These are only fifteen dollars, and I like they fit really nicely, but they didn't have any matching top. I really want to get some more matching pajamas, but that's the only thing I got from the phone. I got some lunch. I had a Mad Max buddy doll. My phone storage is. Full, so I couldn't film that for you, so I apologize, but that's what I got for lunch. And then went to Burwood and I got this from Factory. A cute little beanie. It's very small. It doesn't even cover your ears, but I think it's like a cute style. Hair's gone a little bit flat. It still has some curls there. And then I got a new oil from Dust. This one was only $10 on special. Must be getting rid of the sand, but it's called Rio de Janeiro. Some pineapple and some pomegranate. It's not too strong, which is nice. So, got three little things today. And I'm so tired. I have 1.7 liters left. I just smashed 500, so now I have only 1.2 left. So, I'm gonna try and smash this, and that means I only have 700 left. I'm gonna go have a shower. This might fill me up for dinner, honestly. Yeah, that was my day today. I'm actually a bit disappointed I didn't get to edit anything. I've done about 12,000 steps. I did my half an hour. Just got the water and I'm sure I will get enough sleep tonight. Um, and I'm very excited because tomorrow, Katie and I are going to do grocery shopping and stuff and food prep early on because I'm going to go see my bestie and her husband. They just got back from their honeymoon. So we're going to go over to their place and I think we're going to order in this beautiful Italian restaurant at Bon Appetit and they have some vegan gnocchi there and I am obsessed with gnocchi. Delicious. So I think we're going to get it, pick it up because there was no tables available at the time we wanted to. We're gonna have like an early dinner with them and a bit of a games night and then we're gonna leave theirs around nine and they live just under an hour away. So see when it gets a bit early. But anyway, I'm gonna smash all this, go have a shower and then figure out if I'm gonna eat or not because I'm not that hungry and this is gonna fill me the pot. But I thought I'd just show you quickly what my little pants look like. Here is my pants, aren't they cute? So this is the worst of you ever. <laughs> bowls for us in our coconut bowls that we hardly use <laughs> we got these from bali like four years ago 
when we didn't even know we were buying a place. It was like five, five years, I don't know, a long, long time ago. But we're like, once we have a place, oh my God, we could do a size in these. I used up most of our fruit, kiwi fruit, strawberry, blackberries, some peaches and grapes. Got some granola in there and some peanut butter. I made it really thick too. So good. Honestly, Aldi Asai, $5.70 for four packs. So really, $5.70 for these two Asai's. But then the toppings and the peanut butter. you but after grocery shopping just unpacked everything I went for a about a 35 minute walk so that was my workout and I had to get all the steps in as well then got home had a shower plaited my hair got ready because we have just gone into uh, my best friend and her husband's place because they just come back from their honeymoon so we're gonna catch up we're gonna order some Italian food at this um, place called Buon Appetit they have some vegan gnocchi and we're gonna get a vegetarian pizza with no cheese bought our own cheese and chili oil so very excited to catch up with them and eat some food I'm starving because we've only had the acai and then I had like one sushi roll and a nari all right so we're gonna go in and I'm not sure if I'll film too much in there but let's go here she is, the wifey back from my honeymoon! <laughs> Can I speak? Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> With my raspberries. We got some fruit, popcorn and grapes. And our Oreos. I'm not eating well, the I'm not eating the oh, Oreos. Oreos. <laughs> um, the boys have gone to pick up our food. And I'm very Ooh. hungry. And we're just catching up about... On lots. On lots. The honeymoon. We just watched the wedding video. Stunning. Gorgeous. But anyways, we'll see you when the food gets here. 